Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Planes, Trains, and Comic Books channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review Death Dealer number one. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got one of the covers here for Death Dealer number one. It is an Opus comic, which is a company I have never heard of before. And it is written by Iverson, Martino, Delgado, and Baskell. And we start off with this couple who is camping and the wife is going around doing some magic to try to protect them. And the husband's saying, that doesn't do anything. Magic's not real. And they had previously been talking about the death dealer and how that is what she's trying to protect them from. And as he's saying that, this writer comes up who is obviously evil and asks them where he can find the death dealer. And when he does that, the husband screams as his flesh melts off his face. Then we cut to the death dealer who is in the middle of hunting with his big old axe. And we see there's something interesting about him. He is having a dialogue with someone who isn't there. And it seems like it is possibly his helmet or at least some kind of demon that lives within him and basically it always wants him to like kill things so while he's hunting he hears a woman scream and it turns out there is a lady who is running from a pack of wolves she has a baby so the death dealer going against the odds jumps in between her and the wolves and begins to fight them off and the death dealer is indeed outnumbered so he starts to lose and the woman who happens to be a spell caster actually is able to cast a spell that gets them out of the situation so once they escape the wolves the death dealer invites the woman amara into his cave so that her and her baby can get out of the cold and recover from the fight that just happened and it turns out her baby really likes the death dealer it like grabs onto his finger and stuff and it's all cute and he's trying not to show emotion and whatnot but amara can tell that he's a good guy you know he helped her out there and he didn't have to so she notices that he's bleeding and she offers to help bandage his wounds and i don't know if y'all noticed but he's only got one big bed in that cave and he is a big buff man so with his shirt off she decides to go a little further than just bandaging his wounds so once they're done making love the death dealer's like hey i don't have any food for us you guys wait here so he leaves and goes to a swamp with a bunch of alligators and these aren't like your regular alligators these are like gigantic versions of them and he actually has a pretty hard time with them but he is able to overcome and get some meat for dinner and when he comes back to the cave he notices something wrong amara is not there and there is blood everywhere and that's where i'm going to stop it i don't want to spoil anything else so this is not the first death dealer comic that i've ever read and if you didn't know this is actually based on a frank frazetta painting like just the character itself there's no backstory or anything so when people do comics of the death dealer they're just making stuff up as far as i know but i gotta say this is definitely by far the best death dealer comic i have read it definitely hits all the notes you want in like a conan-esque adventure story and it does it in a very mature way i mean there's extreme violence and gore i don't know if you saw but when he was fighting that crocodile he literally ripped out its spine and there's also a lot more of that love making scene with him and amara that i didn't show you it does definitely have nudity in it but i thought this was a really fun comic and it was way better than i thought it was going to be because i just picked it up randomly because some reviews on the internet said that it was good so iverson did a really good job with the story you know he starts with a lot of action you get to know the death dealer a bit and like what's going on inside of his head with either the demon or his helmet that's talking to him and it leaves it on a cliffhanger that really makes you want to figure out what's going to happen next and i thought the art in this was really good too i mean every page was pretty much top quality there wasn't any panels that thought was weird and specifically the scenes where he's fighting the alligators i thought was really awesome anytime a main character wrestles a reptile i am down for that so all in all this was a really fun comic that kind of came out of nowhere and i wasn't expecting it so i'm gonna give this one a four out of five i had a blast reading it i think it doesn't get much better than that for an indie comic about a character from a painting that doesn't have an established backstory and coming from a company that i've never really heard of either so all those things kind of like were against it and it defied all of those and the only thing that's kind of bad is that you can't buy it digitally so you can only get this in the stores and i heard that the first issue sold out but i also heard that they're doing a second printing so be sure to check with your local store they might be able to order it still but if not don't worry they have a second printing coming so if you saw anything you like definitely go pick that up and we will see you all in the next one